Hello everyone, for my first advertising sponsor, I would like to ask a question. Have you ever wanted to make music but you don't have the money or software to use it? Well don't worry, I have an app for you called Bond Music. It is a game where you not only get to make music, but you also get to learn with cute animals as well. Bond Music. Please follow and download the late app below while signing in with your email as well. Speaking of free games, we have another one from Ugu Bugu called... Sandwich Maker! You get to make your own sandwich as fast as you can while getting new furniture and customers as well. Oh wow! That is relatable! You can say that again, Mr. Sir Halo. That is relate. Bond music and sandwich shop available at all times. And now for our 19th report of Black Biscuits. Enjoy. Wall and a four back at it again with another video. And welcome you all to my channel, Edo Numo 4, for those that have been here before, but if not, Yoko Sol. In today's video is going to be the 19th report of the Japanese and Taiwanese report of Black Biscuits. In this report, I will talk about the history about them the best way I can, while also speaking in Japanese and Taiwanese once again on how I first encountered the BB. Also, the subtitles will not be in English, Japanese, and Taiwanese, but also it will be in Korean and Hindi too. Now let's jump in the history of Black Biscuits. We'll first start off with our leader named Vivian Hitsu, or Bidai Suran. She was born in 1975 on March the 19th in Taichung, Taiwan. Two of the next members are comedians named Amino and Nachan. Nachan, known as Kiyotaka Nabara, was born on February 13th 1965 in Takamatsu, Kangawa, Japan. Lastly, Amino Hiroyuki. He was born in 1970 on March the 24th in Ozaki, Achi, Japan. I've noticed that there is two or more members that I'm missing right now, but do not worry, I will get to them later. Vivian has started her career when she was 15 years old with being in a group called Shonen Time, translate as Girls Team, while releasing two albums in 1991 and 1992 on UFO Records. Afterwards, she became a voice actress and a model in 1995. Her first movie was called Shaolin Pope or Popeye or Lil Shaolin, released on the 21st of July in 1994. There were four spin offs and she appeared on the third to fourth one. She appeared in more films from her motherland while also creating two albums of Japanese, Chinese, and Korean on Toshiba Records Angel Dreaming, Tanshi. On, August, on April the 10th, 1996, and October the 10th of the same year of the Korean version. Nadabara's career started in 1985 in his debut acting role translated as Don't Touch My Girl. From that day forward, he continued his acting and comedian skills. Amino started in 1991 with Udo Suzuki called Kai. Udo was born the same year as Hiroki on January the 19th, and their stand-up landed them on the most popular kid show NHK in 1995 called Genius TV Goon. 
that started two years ago. From what I can remember, this show was about learning new things with kids along with music, special guests, animation, and skits too. But we'll come back to more of that later. In August of 1996, this is how we move on to the next chapter. And this is how Black Biscuits was formed. So in Hachi Senki Haku Lokunende, the television show was called Wochan Nachan Yunari. The show was about Nachan and Wuchan's success, basically like a music variety reality television show. I believe the Wuchan in this situation is named Teruyoshi Ochima that was born in Hitoshi Komamoto, Japan of July the 22nd, 1964, and he is a comedian too. Uchima and Nachan want to start their new career in music. A year before this, Toyoshi started a musical group with Udo from the last chapter and Chiaki Sakamoto called Pockets Biscuits. Chiaki was born on October 26, 1971 in Mazu Kyoto, Japan and she is the lead singer of Pockets while Uchima is on synth piano and Udo was on drums. Nachan wanted to promote outside the Sunrise Land to be more global by making a group called Miki with members Rie Takayama, Sayuri Kokusho, and Sigeru Mori. They only released one single called Can't Stop My Heart on April the 17th, 1996. On Goes It's Passion on the 26th place and released on Stardust Promotion Records. Pokey B released their first single at the same time called Rapturous Blue and made it to the 20th place and released on MITM Factory Records. Mickey did manage to get to the Philippines to debut their songs along with Pockets Biscuits on February the 20th, 1996, Sunday. Mickey performed their song along with the Pinoy Classics while Pockets sang their first song in English. I say due to the lack of popularity from both parts of Asia, Mickey would have to break up. Nachan would have to come up with another plan quickly since their rival's three singles in an album was reaching the charts of 96 and 97. Fortunately, with the help of Vivian and Amino, they have formed Black Biscuits. <laughs> Even though Black Biscuits was winning the game of their television show, they need to now win the charts and a record deal. One of the tasks before him was somebody made statues and a piggy banks of them. So they had to sell it to their local news station for people to fax in and buy it from them. Their last trip on that mission was Taiwan, where Vivian taught Nachan and Amino Mandarin to get people to fax in their, for their statue while also seeing Vivian's family too. Speaking of Taiwan, Vivian went there again to get the group a record deal while sharing a demo of a VH tape of them karaoke. BMG Record was the label that approved them for their debut single coming in the next chapter. But before we get to that, we gotta talk about their costume change and their logo was a bat symbol. Nachan outfit is now a black jacket and pants with some beads from the, the last outfit, and the logo is on the back of his jacket. Vivian outfit is a mix of red and pink crop tops and pants, hair beads, pink scrunchies, and, her, and the logo was on her stomach. 
Lastly, Amino's outfit is a black shirt and short pants, wears goggles, wears a bat hat, because previously his headwear were horns, so they had to fix that right away. And the logo is on his shirt. So now we're going to be continuing my birth year of their debut in the next chapter. We're now starting off this chapter with their one and only single called Stamina, released on December the 3rd of 1997 and placed on the first and second place of Japan and Taiwan musical charts. I know you're all asking, well, how did it get to the Taiwan music charts? Well, that's because they made a Taiwanese version of their single. They're both released and recorded on the same day too. But there is more that happened in their debut year. For starters, we'll be talking about their very first music video for Stamina. It's important to note that Black Biscuits are really trying their best to really be different than Pockets Biscuits. One of the biggest examples is not just their outfit or the label, but also, of course, their music video. Pockets animation would be considered of 2D and 3D animation, while Black's animation would be claymation, as shown here, made by Ito Yusei. To make the animation for their character, it would usually take four hours for one shot. It makes you wonder, how many hours did it take to make this set here for their first promo shown video? They have a choreographer named Izumi as well. They even shot the music video outside while also using their statues and other claymation to make the Black Biscuits MV stand out more. Afterwards, they headed to Taiwan again for their first conference with 150 attendees. While on the same day, they were featured on a cooking segment for CTN News and the AVIX TK News, while the Pockets Biscuits also came to visit them too. One of the popular shows translated as the Fantastic Brothers in Taiwan, Amino and Nachan could not make it, so they would have a cardboard cutout of them. But they did make it in time for Amino's own show, Tensai Terivikun. There is one event in Taiwan that Amino almost could not make it to, not just for hosting his own show, but also it was during the Typhoon Joan of October 97. Thanks to the studio's helicopter, Amino made it just in time to perform with his teammates, and now we're gonna go back to Japan. Back in Japan, after getting the results of their debut single, they have another challenge to complete. Their next challenge is to race their own CD sales through Japan stores and neighborhood to make it to their own concert in Nippon Bokudan Chiyoda, Tokyo. In the first half of the race, Black Biscuits won, but in the end, Pockets Biscuits won the official race. Although, Black Biscuits did make a quick appearance of their concert, along with another comedian named Whitey. In the end, they did get treated with their own museum of their progress and also have their own food brand too. But I believe in the next year, something bigger will become of Black Biscuits in the next chapter. This chapter start off with the release of their second single, but before we get to that, Pockets Biscuit released their fifth single at the same time as Black Biscuits again called My Diamond, and it made it to the fourth place. Once they had their race again, they were tied, but once they have done it again, Black Biscuits has not only won, but their prize was to go to New York City. 
In their second music video, they have shot it in Washington, in Battery Park, the Statue of Liberty, WTC, and the Webster's Hall, which hold 1,200 attendees for their show. As usual, they use claymation. Nachan has played the saxophone and made it into the Hey 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 Music Champ second award special. What's the second single called? It's called Timing. Released on April the 22nd, 1998 and made it to the gold second place too. There's about three more events that happen at this time. One more single for 98, their own home video and an award show. The third and last single of this chapter is called Relax, released on the 21st of October and relax in the third place. For this video, it's about three kids that wanted to catch a late night show that had Black Biscuits on it, but it was a homage to the popular dance show in the US called Soul Train. And they also made Claymation once again for not only their third single, but it's the last single of 98. The second to last thing to mention for this chapter is that from their own VH video, it shows the makings, music video, and dance lessons of stamina, timing, and relax, and the Japanese format, narrated by Bucky and Izumi, their dance instructor. I'm not sure if there was a Taiwanese release of this, but they did mention their Taiwanese version of their song in that video. And I believe this was released in November and December of 98 from WAP videos. Their last event from that time of Black second year was their collaboration with Pockets Biscuits of the NHK's Red and White Song Battle Award, and now we'll be getting into the final years of Black Biscuits to the next chapter. In the new years of Ijo Jinpa Jo Jijia, a new member arrived named Keddy Ding, born in 1982 of June the 8th and from Shenyang, China. Their second to last single is called Bye Bye, and it's, a fa and it's Farewell was released on the 26th of May, 1999, and rested on the fourth place. Along with this, they released their own album about life. It was born the same time as their fourth single, and had its best seller on the sixth place. By the summer of that year is when they had they have not only broke up but they had a concert but in three years later they had a reunion but they did release one more single before that time. Their very very last single added four more members while Vivian and Keddy graduated. They were named Nara Jinu, Bara, and Han, and they joined in two The Brand New Biscuits, released their last single called Partners on the New Year's of 2001, January the 1st. But their very last concert together with everyone, it collaborated with Pockets Biscuits in Tokyo of March 2002, and this was also the last episode of Wuchan Nachan Yubari. On that note, let's move on to the third to last chapter of Black Biscuits is their aftermath. So let's start off the story with Nahara. By the last year of Black Biscuits, the show Yubari has made it worldwide to Europe. And there was another group that also made it the same way. In the fourth season of a show called Waru Inu, 
they made a comedian musical Green Leaves of their song called Yatta that means hooray or yay released on April the 18th 2001 and celebrated on the sixth place it became so popular it landed on the Jimmy Kimmel show two years later and there's more information from the YouTube channel called GT4 Japan. During a year before Green Lease, he was in his own Bollywood movie translated as Not To Dances, The Legend of Ninja, that not only has Black Biscuit in it, but also met the four other members for the new Biscuits and also another project he was producing called The Southern Group. He is still around during variety shows and music. One of the shows that he is in is he is a commentator along with Uchima from Pockets Biscuit called Get Sports since 1998 and still around today. Along with releasing a song earlier this year called Nakuma Waltz on April the 22nd. Secondly is Amino along with Udo they have hosted a popular musical show with Morning Musume called Musics from 2000 to 2003 while appearing in many more television and movies with and without Udo. In fact, they have three YouTube channels of their own since 2020 of June. As far as Keddy, Nara, Han, and Bara, they have retired, but they are still alive. But Jenny from the last chapter of Brand New Biscuits, she is called Lee Che Young, that has started her singing career right afterwards since 2003 and has made a comeback this year called Sometimes I Cry, while being born on December the 10th, 1978, from Korea. Speaking of singing careers, Vivian during and after Black Biscuits, 14 albums were released along with 29 movies. One of those 29s is the recent film that was released last month called Mama's Boy. Now we get to move on to the second to last chapter of what did I learn and what did I like about them. So one of my favorite things I liked about them is, is I often love their style of not only fashion, but also the claymation style as well, along with their funny personalities to go along with it. What I've learned from them is that they were really trying their best to really be different of pockets, biscuits in every shape, way possible. And their story of how they got started is one of the most captivating events I have ever reported. For the second time, I'll be talking in Taiwanese once again, just like my SAT reports, but I'll be putting the captions in Taiwanese along with other languages just in case I am not coherent in this segment. So, here we go. Sugi Nashi Nari Ieen Itan Tuen Nashu Wo Nishan Sway Deng Wo Kantan Stamina from DJ Waffle Ruben Version Wo Aida Jing Dong Wo Shi Go Wi Minimori the odds and the telephone goes ring ring ring. Ju ye she the claymation ye juju ja will vinten da jeting. Ye si wo dan servant the da the ishi wishima wo. Jumbo Ba Envy Ba Tiji Fan Sinji Dangwo Bushi Eager Ren 
Wushu Heyo Hunter Almond Nachan Wumei Mei Vivian Hoo Amino Tebe Shi Yingwei Wo Yang Shi Woman Zay De Yang Tamen Black Biscuits Chaja Burfin Wo Yang Zing Zay Yong Ruben a yinger tan tan will de ganga gershi ju win wo wow binzi mv stamina promo from video making the wa tanoskata desu okasan wa camera de the hajimete directing to mo Deski na odoru te tomotachi to imoto chan te shikashi choreography nai wa demo soe wa moden janai heishun shita heishun te daiki o te heishun ta screen o tomo to oki te dai o te nai wa Close-up in nai, sono tori, gagu sete in janai, in janai wa, shikashi, tanoshi gata de shou ne, omoshioi de shou ne, otosan te, zekai to mochi de, hanashi o wa, ego de. So in Japanese, I basically explained of why specifically I didn't like the way I edited the Black Biscuit stamina. But in the format that I did it, it would have been more perfect of the way that I edited it if it was in the Taiwanese version. But that there was a Taiwanese version until months later in that year of 2010. The making of the video is what astonished me since it was not only made in claymation form, but I actually thought the whole thing was a green screen except for the outside and of course the claymation scene. But at the end of the day, it really was fun to make. It had a lot of views and part of what my father was saying of it being a hit he was really right about that from the description 11 years ago. Even though for me it's pretty cringy. But on that note, I will be sharing the 12 year tribute for this video. So that was my embarrassing Hazagashi moment. I would say also another interesting thing to note from what has happened during these progress is that I have read in the billboard from Google that it was BMG's 10th anniversary in 1997. What makes it interesting is because that's the same record company that Blast Biscuits has entered. A little true unknown fact for you there. Now back in Taiwanese. Hi, Yuri Jing Chi Wu Zeng He Dada Frazeng Zi Shi Yi Shou La Zeng Wu Shu Seng Na Len De Ye Wu Hen Gak Seng Wu Ba Ta Men De Gu Shi Gao Sui Da Ja Juni Gatsu san de Hatsugyo no Black Biscuits to Pulpit Boys Hito Ego de On the 3rd of December is the celebration of Black Biscuits and Pulpit Boys. Taiwanese Tashao Biscuits Yo Yo Shi Yu Gwen Ri Sha Yi Fang Kwai and happy 25th anniversary 
to two of those groups and artists. Now back to English. Last things I'd like to mention for this chapter is Chiaki from Pocket Biscuits is not only making music again with her recent song called Green Flash released on June the 3rd of this year but while also having a YouTube channel as well. Speaking of which, Pockets Biscuits had their own Tamagotchi toys and it makes me, it really makes me wonder if Black Biscuits had any toys of their claymation character figures. And also the Korean, the short-lived Korean group called Circle has met Black Biscuits in 1998 in this magazine article right here. One of my favorite moments of Vivian was not just the DDI pocket commercials, but also she was in a movie with Jackie Chan called The Accidental Spy 21 years ago, especially since Jackie Chan was one of my favorite martial artists along with Jack and Bruce Lee. If you remember Kayin that hosts season 3 to 6 of Genius TV Kun, this television series along with song still goes on today and happy 29th anniversary to that show. It is also great to know that all the members still keep the memories of Black Biscuits alive with them as well. And on that note, let's move on to the last chapters of this video with the sponsors and shout outs. So this shout out for this video begins with our topic of our guest today of Vivian Hitsu. Nanachan, Amino, and Pocket of Udo, and Chiaki. So our actual shout outs go to not just our two sponsors of Sandwich Shop, but also Bond Music, it really also just goes to Harajuku TM, Max and Suji Reacts, Dark Knight Reactors, 4MDT21, Sekar, Kyoji, Lola's Room, Beck Hung, King J-O-B, Maruna, High King Science, Katabat, J the Protagonist, and lastly, Jamie Lin. Thank you all for watching. Coming up next is the episode of my podcast, but also the last report of this year for the Pool Bit Boys as explained from this video of their both of their days being celebrated of Black Biscuits and Pool Bit Boys. Like I've said before, I would like for you all to please help for my channel to get to 200 to 400 followers before the end of this year. And also for my second channel to get to 100 followers this year as well. As I go, Remember to download and have fun with the mobile app game of Sandwich Shop and Bond Music. And remember to also comment that Edo4 has sent you there. Like I said, everyone, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.
Hopefully I can. Okay, good. I can see the words. Good. That is good. Good, good, good. Okay. Here we go, everybody. All right. I'm not sure if there is a Taiwanese release for this, but they did, did mention a Taiwanese version of their songs for this video, and I believe that this was released in November of the set. Ah! Welcome. Oh man, oh god, I don't know how long I can On today's video, it will be the 19th report of the Japanese in Taiwan. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. Chiaki was born on October the 26th of 1971 in Mazuru Kyoto. Ah. Also, the subtitles will not only be in English, but it will also be in, oh, <sighs> Jay the Protagonist, and lastly, Jamie Lynn. Mickey did manage to go to the Philippines to their debut song, along with Pockets Biscuits on February the 20th, 1996 Sunday. Mm -hmm. oh. oh man. Me? They have a choreographer away. It makes you wonder how many hours did it take to make their set here for their first promotional video? And released on MI M Come on. Alright, here we go. So let's start with the story goes from night NHK Sayuri Kokku Show. And their story of how they got started is one of the most way. Once they had their race against the Oi. Actually, wait a minute. Okay. No. Although Black Biscuit, all the oh. But this format, I would have. Mm. Kind of so. Ah. <laughs> Demo. The one event, there is. Release on. June the 30th. He's still around during variety shows and music. One of the. He is still around during variety shows and music. <laughs> Hair beads, big scrunchies. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So, biscuit, yo yo, she iguan, where shall you find one? Re. Alright. 